Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. We're gonna try something a little bit different today. I know a lot of you guys are new to the hobby. So in the next three minutes, I'm gonna show you all the specialty tools you're gonna to need when you decide it's time to work on your Rochester Quadrajet or dual jet electronic carburetor. There's gonna be links in the description and you're gonna need these tools for an upcoming video where I show you how to properly tune and adjust all the electronic components of your carburetor. So stay tuned, let's get started. Okay, the first tool that we have laid out here is a 2.5 millimeter hex adjuster. That's the tool in the bag on the right. This tool is used for adjusting the voltage that comes out of your throttle position sensor and properly applying enough preload so that the ECM can tell how hard you're pushing down on the gas pedal. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to properly adjust your throttle position sensor using this tool to make sure that the ECM can read it right and deliver the correct amount of fuel to your engine. Next up, we have a pair of flexible carburetor adjustment tools with the Double D head. The Double D fits GM mixture control screws. You are gonna need two of them, one for each screw because you have two screws in the carburetor. These are available at any major auto parts store, Pep Boys, O'Reilly's, Napa, AutoZone. You can also find them on Amazon and eBay real easy. And just a quick tip, like to mark each side at the 12 o'clock position. So when you adjust your mixture screws, you can keep them in sync. You're also going to need a dwell meter to go along with those because when you adjust an electronic carburetor, you have to use a dwell meter to measure the mixture. You can't just eyeball it or use a vacuum gauge like in some of the older models. Okay, and finally, we're gonna need a set of good carburetor float gauges. You'll not only use these to measure the float height inside the carburetor, they're also used to measure the total amount of travel on your mixture control solenoid. So that's it guys, thanks for tuning in. We've done it all in three minutes or less. I'm gonna include links for everything in the description and I'll see you next video.